But it's time now for our Form 15. We love doing this segment. You've been handed the reins this week, Ken, uh, because you have seen all of our All Blacks, not just All Blacks, but other international players come through rugby, come through schoolboy rugby, Land Rover First 15 over the last 13 years, and you've picked your very best Form 15. Yes, well, it hasn't been uh, hasn't been easy. Some of the selections, some would some would think are um, some would think are controversial. But uh, Will Jordan, well, the first time I saw Will, he scored five tries for Christchurch Boys High uh, in their annual fixture against uh, against Christ College, which is a very very big event. Um, in your front row, I see all of a sudden <laughs> you've got someone who, who's not available for the All Blacks. That's right. Well, we're talking about school boys, Tony Yellow to Paul. But still, I mean, was he the best loose head prop you ever saw? Is he tight there? I don't know. I don't know if he was. I don't know if he was the best front rower um, that I saw. But oh, what a magic! There he is in Sacred Heart. You just love commentating that. You just love commentating that. My son, that, right? my son, my son went to school with Taniella. Yeah, Taniella was 132 kilos. My son was 72. Well, look at him. Look <laughs> at my son was captain of the team. Look at him flying down that right edge. <laughs> I, I remember oh, watching. It's going to look great for the All Blacks. Oh, he's a wallaby. Has he kicked on? <laughs> Has he kicked on, Ken? Has he kicked on? Well, like I don't know. Do you call well, making it a Super Rugby and playing for Australia and playing at the elite level? It's kicked on. Is that kicked on? Yep. Or do you regard he yep. needs to win something of significance? So who you got here? Who else in your middle row? Yes, yeah, Scott, Pat um, Scott Barrett, obviously, and uh, Patrick Tupolotu. Scott went to Francis Douglas. Paddy went to St Peter's. And there's, what have we got there? Auckland Grammar, Sacred Heart, St Kennigan. JK, Auckland you didn't pick this team, did you? Because it's very blue. Yeah. And so two, you played blue. lock. And so Fakatawa. two played lock for, for Sacred Heart. Yeah, yeah so I see, I have, I've seen Brad Webber, Napier Boys High. Hang on. Can I just stop you right there? You can. Uh, especially you, Ken. Yes. <laughs> um, so Brad Webber and TJ Peranata. I mean, so the reason they're I, your nephews. Well, TJ is. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I went for love for Falau Fakatawa, I thought it was very important that Hastings Boys High School are represented. They ran oh, okay. a fabulous first 15. Uh, program and they won the top four. Oh, this is against Hamilton. Hamilton boys is Falau Fakatava as a schoolboy at Hastings Boys High. A number of kids out of that team, Flanders, um, has gone on to play Super Rugby um, as well. Danny Toala has gone on to play Super Rugby. Lincoln McClutchy was out of that same Hastings Boys High first sort of thing. And the coach, Mark Osich, who went from Hastings Boys to Hawke's Bay. So the reason I chose for Lowell was so that I could acknowledge Hastings Boys High's success the at midfield. first 15 level. The midfield. I love your 12. Oh. I love your 12. <laughs> That's awesome. Artie Savia, well, exactly. He was the Rongatai College second 5'8 in his final year at school at uh, Rongatai College, where he was also head boy. He was also in the Polynesian group. He's also very, very good in the, Mario, in the um, performing arts and music areas. Very, very talented. Can dance. Good. Oh, yeah. Can yeah. move. Can dance, can sing. Uh, and, of course, uh, Roger Tuivas, Tuivasar Sheik, he was captain of Otahu, Otahu First 15. Here's a question. Center. Here's a question. 20 minutes to go, World Cup final. Our backs have all been injured. Would you put them out there then? I would. Who are they? Yeah, yeah Roger. 12. Oh, 12. Oh, yes. Oh. Yeah, 12, mate. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter what... The backs are down. The back We've got no-one left. Just play. <laughs> put, put them out anywhere. there. You can play anywhere. <laughs> OK, right on. You can back three. You finished back the three. rest of your team for us. Oh, well, obviously, Rico Ioane and Caleb... Caleb Clark. Caleb played a lot of wing um, and played a lot in the midfield, but his preference was always to play on the left wing, even when he was at Mount Albert uh, Grammar. Rico played a lot in the midfield at Auckland Grammar. In fact, Sean Stevenson was in that same Auckland Grammar first 15. Yep. Sean was the fullback. Rico was, um, Rico was in the midfield, and Akira was uh, number eight. Right, question. Scott Barrett, the best of the Barretts you saw? Oh, big call. Ooh. And there's more than, there's more than just Geordie. I Jordy. watched Geordie play once for Francis Douglas and it was like, kicked a goal from 50, was outstanding. That's yeah. a big call there. Bowden Barrett, yeah, Kane Barrett as well. Did you see him or not? Yeah, Kane and Scott played in the same era. The same era, right? So... Kane was good. Yeah, Kane was really good. Don't ask me a question like that. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't want to be in the middle <laughs> of... of the I don't want to be in the middle of a whano split <laughs> by split. forcing me to... Because I heard, Voce de Corridoio, that Smiley brought you a beer last night too. <laughs> he did. He did too, and I might, I might see him in the next couple of weeks. No, that's a fact. <laughs> 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 la verita, no, la verita, Cuesta, la verita. There's multiple really, players sorry. that came out of Francis Douglas Memorial College, though, right, that we've seen in, in Super Rugby. It was another one of these feeder teams. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it's exactly... Not all of them ended up playing for Taranaki either, or ended up playing... <laughs> You know, those boys went straight to Christchurch. You'll have one, though, on your radar right now who's just sitting or not far off that you've seen that's maybe just gone into Super Rugby. Is there one you're going, you know what? 
I knew that all along? Um, probably the most exciting in that category, I'd have to say Peyton Spencer. Right. Uh, he's just been added to the New Zealand Sevens team. I think he's yeah, played good. three or four mm. tournaments, but he's been playing 15. Uh, been playing fullback for Hamilton Boys, and again, it come through that same program. That's Quinn Tupia, Josh Lord yeah. have come through that same, you know. Yep. Yeah, terrific kid. I don't know how you picked a form 15. From 13 Two. years. Well, Goldie changes the rules every week about <laughs> yeah, every what the week. first 15 is. So. Actually, this wasn't my about idea. I had yeah, nothing to do with it. It started as a super, super, well, was fourth, super uh, rugby uh, competition. Form six, form and seven, just four. make your own rules, mate. Don't worry about us. <laughs> what f yeah, exactly. I will. You wait till we do the law exam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that, that's still to come. We actually put these two to the test to see how well they know uh, the rugby laws because they're constantly attacking them and telling us we need to change a few things. So we'll put them to the test shortly. Plus, we chat to the CEO of the Blues, Andrew Hoare, and we chat uh, the future for Moana Pacifica. A player who is tackled in the opponent's in goal may get up and move towards the goalpost to score a try. True or false? There's mi missing a detail. 100% missing a detail. Missing a detail. Yeah. Whether he's held or not. Yeah and whether he releases the ball and then picks it up again, which is the law? Uh, no. What do you mean, no? No. You don't have to release the ball if you're not held. Did you try that when you were playing, the old fake put down and go around the post? Yeah, I told the ref before the game. Oh, what was it? So yeah. I put it on, so I put it on my foot. Is that within the spirit of the game? <laughs> it was pretty, that's not pretty the good when I scored the down the other end of the oh, game. No, that was, that I was no, in no, good was... spirits. Yeah, no, they kicked it into the 22. Yeah, yeah. and then go And on. I put it on my foot. foot which is not down, everyone stopped, and then I walked back to the 22 and then took off. Did you? Yeah. That is well and truly not in the spirit of the game. I wonder what other, Tatum, other we things also, we this also, Auckland crowd used in the late also, 80s, early 90s to win all of those games, gave away penalties in front of your line how many times? How many times do you reckon those players would have got yellow cards in your day? I oh, unbelievable. Never. Did you actually tell the rest of your team you were going to do this? Yeah. Oh, you did tell them? So there's three, three things that we did. The quick throw-in in the World Cup. Yeah. Told the ref for that. Never been done before. That one on the foot. And the other one... Were you going to try and pull that out in a test match? Yeah. I, I, I was just so dying to. <laughs> oh, I would love to have seen that. Well, that was a little snippet, but I tell you what, stick around until 8.30pm on Sky Sport 1. I promise you, you, you so will not me. be oh, disappointed. You so annoyed me that day. You were so annoying. The they, the of the year. That's, confirmation. Actually... That's confirmation you're both idiots. <laughs> Right there. Half an hour. For a full hour. Is it an hour? It is a full oh, hour, oh, and Lord. these two officially oh, sit goodness. the referee exam. So they won't be able to throw shade <laughs> at our top referees after you watch oh, them for the God. full hour from 8.30 till 9.30pm.